Hi, I'm Josh, I'm one of the community managers on Transformers Universe, and this is our brand new show, Under the Hood. In the build-up to launch and beyond, we will be here to make sure that you are up to speed and ready for battle. We'll be introducing you to the team, showing you around and giving you exclusive behind-the-scenes access. Coming up in today's show, I'll be taking some of your questions directly to the developers. The community team will be talking about the newly announced Founders Programme and you can win one of our exclusive Transformers Universe jackets. But first, let's take a peek at the Gadget Show. This was the first time the public went hands-on with the game and they really enjoyed it. I'm a smiler and I'm a Decepticon. I'm an Autobot. No one wins by being a good guy, ever. I like being good. I peeked in through the door and it looks epic. I'm an Autobot. I'm a Decepticon. Wait, 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 wait. You can't just do that. This is badass. Thumbs up, yeah. Next up on the Transformers Universe tour is MCM London. So if you can, get yourself down there. We'd love to meet you. A few weeks ago, we held an event down in London where the world's gaming media had a first look at the game and they also got their chance to ask their questions. You may have seen some previews online, but here at Under the Hood, it's your turn. And so I've grabbed a few of your questions off the forum and I'm gonna go get them answered. First question comes from Turbine, and he wants to know where does Transformers Universe fit into the Transformers timeline? Oh right, great question Turbine, yeah. So stylistically the game has evolved to fit in within what Hasbro called the Transformers Generations timeline. We've worked really closely with Hasbro obviously over the development of the game, and we feel we've given the game its own natural vibe and feel. But as it evolves it will continue in what Transformers fans will recognise as the Transformers Generations. Okay, cool. The next one comes from Night Raider, and he wants to know what other modes apart from Elimination can we expect at launch? Oh right, great. Well, I hope he's enjoying Elimination. But we've also got Meteor Storm, which is a mode where you're fighting against the other faction to locate, capture and defend resource hubs. You can also go to the outer base and, and carry out some of the public missions we've set out there for you. You can be mining Energon and you can be um, killing Terracons. We've also got the Crisis mode already, again in beta where you can team up with uh, allies on your faction and go out and take on specific missions and quests to complete out there. And a bit of a tricky one here from Ocean Dragon. What's the long-term plan for Transformers Universe? <laughs> yeah, great question. So, obviously very difficult to cover that in a short video segment, but we've got a, you know, at least a 15-year roadmap for this project. I want to build a hobby, so there's lots of different things for people to, to play. You know, you, when you're thinking about playing Transformers Universe, there's always something for you to come and do. We're called Transformers Universe for a reason. At the moment we're on Earth, but the brand and the IP opens up to us so many possibilities, so many different places we can go off planet. We can introduce new modes and new, new, new schemes and new ways of playing. So Nick, we've had a lot of people on the forums asking about vehicles. What will be available at launch? To start with, we're going to be on the ground-based vehicles. We've got monster trucks, motorbikes, sports cars, off-road vehicles, SUVs, big trucks, military vehicles. And then going forward, um, after launch, we're looking at bringing in the stuff that everybody wants. So, you know, your tracked vehicles, uh, hovercrafts, and uh, in flight, obviously, as okay. well. And what are you looking forward to yourself the most? Uh, I'm looking forward to the, the uh, tracked vehicles. I want to get tanks in there, and then obviously with that later on down the line, uh, you know, hopefully comes guys like uh, you know, Blitzwing, Warpath, and stuff like that. Cool, and then we've got a question from Deadput, and he wants to know about uh, how he'll be working with familiar characters in the game. Okay, uh, so uh, mentors uh, fulfill a, a couple of functions. So we've got guys in the inner base and social areas, and then in your specific mission arenas and, and battle areas, then you've got mentors giving you uh, mission critical information. Going forward, we want the, the players to also be able to pick up their well-known and well-loved characters and, and play those as well. But we won't talk about that today. Yeah. And then final question is from Star Warp, and he wants to know about customization. How can he make this bot his own? Okay, uh, so we've got um, a couple of ways to split into things that affect how the bot can perform and um, how they look. Uh, so to start with, you get the, the, the base paint job of a warrior, uh, and you can tweak that, but we've also got full-on skins which change the, the model or the silhouette of the bot. We've also got big 
um, full-scale redos. And then as far as like, actually changing how bots function, we've got a wide variety of stuff from uh, changing stats, like uh, bot speeds, damage, uh, regeneration, that kind of thing. And then power cores, prototypes, and augments as well. So I think we'll be getting into a bit more detail on those at a, at a later date. Though. Yeah, so there's a lot there to kind of make the bot your own. Yeah, absolutely. So it's not just visual, there's, uh, there's a huge amount of depth in uh, increasing your bot and, and making them more effective on the field. Thanks, Nick. I'm now going to pass you over to the rest of the community team who are going to be talking about founders. So the Founders Programme is a great way of giving yourself a nice head start of the game, as well as access to a few exclusives that won't be available to others at launch. We have four packs to choose from, and each of those packs contain a bunch of awesome things, such as in-game relics, title and avatar for the forum. You will be immortalised on the website, which is pretty awesome, and you will also receive a season pass. The Silver, Gold and Cyber Knight packs will also contain access to some pretty cool new warriors that will only be available to Founders owners at launch as well as a selection of items that will help give you sort of boosts and a helping hand in game. You will receive up to six new bots, three Autobots and three Decepticons. The Autobots are Anomaly, Ripraw and Double Tape. And for the Decepticons you will get Derail, Dead Heat and Astraea. With the Cybernite pack you will also gain access to all 18 bots at launch as well as some exclusive uh, Cybernite skins. And the best part about Cyber Knight is that you will receive a limited edition Transformers Universe figurine. We only have a few Cyber Knight packs available, so visit the website to check out which pack suits you the best. And you could become a founder too. And we hope to see you on the forum soon. Thanks guys. Before we go, I did promise you a competition. Let's get your hands on one of these limited edition jackets. All you need to do is simply share this video on your Facebook or Twitter using the hashtag TestYourMetal and we'd announce the winner shortly. On the next episode of Under the Hood, we have something special for you. One shall stand, one shall fall. To make sure you don't miss that, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.